and I, hopefully this doesn't go down bad. Yeah, all the matches are the same, aren't they? All the matches are right. Three got the stab. That's the match, sir. That's okay. And there'll be Batista. Are you being Batista? Yeah. I okay. guess they get to the heads of Corrigo, hopefully. Even if I like Corrigo, but... So Regal and Hassan. Hassan has to win this. It's his debut. The Regal lost last week. But Hassan has to win. It makes more sense. Regal might win, though. It's Regal. Hassan wins. Um, Trish and Angle, Vilita and Benoit. Now, Angle is the WWE Champion. This is a bit of a weird match. If Benoit beats Angle, perhaps he will get a title shot. But also, you get Lita and Benoit. Lita got the win. Sorry, Benoit has to have Matt. Have well, a... he might not, because Lita I think pinned Trish. So, Benoit and Angle. If Benoit pinned Angle, I probably would make that match. Not sure, really. But I'll probably love that one. I'll probably make some sort of Kedra bats next week. Whenever that is. I need to have Bear Wild in that one. Is it recording? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it is. That's why I... Uh, oh, well, I wasn't sure when you, when you checked. I thought you paused it and then I was it. Right? No, I, I went off. I went to the next one. Oh, right. It no, it's alright. It's no problem. And then Randy Orton beat Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels had a great match at Karango, Steel Cage match. Where he lost, um, Randy Orton got the win over Keen in a title match. So I think Michael should win this match, really. You know, he needs to win more. He's come off a match against Kurt Angle. So Michael's win, yeah. And then we've got six bad tag, Booker T, Keen, and Big Show. Pretty, um, pretty much a rivalries match going up against Edge, Heinrich, and Snitsky. Booker T and Edge. Started a few with Edge, got a, a dirty kind of pin on Booker last week. And with the Heinrich and Snitsky, who are the number of the key in the big suits tag titles. So, six man tag. Who yeah. wins? Edge, Heinrich, and Snitsky win. And you didn't have a fifth for much? You didn't have a No, I just left it. I mean, I had that six man tag. This is the match here. This is the match. Raw's been. Basically, yeah, basically Sophie beat so kitchen from last week when Corrigo got a cheeky connect win over Batista. He infuriated him. So Batista, you know, got out of the ring. He was chasing him. Corrigo got in, out of ten, and Batista's not happy about it. Nothing might have been on the line in that match, but Batista lost, and Batista, no matter what way the loss went down, he's not going to take it, and you know, Batista, oh. a top guy on Raw, is looking to avenge us here mm-hmm. tonight. And it's the fact of oh, oh. And he's found Carlito backstage. Carlito's been trying to get away all night, but Batista's oh. found him, and here we are. Oh. It's Batista, and he's looking for some payback. Carlito got a cheeky win on him last week, I don't know what. Yeah, Carlito infuriated the big man. I kind of, he yeah. got he got kind of died he got Batista kind of died in a match where Carito won. Basically he can't, he running can't get a shot in. Basically running out of a ring and stuff and Carito picking his moment. He's opportunistic. And we're how opportunist he is. And Batista, well, this is a kind of match you don't want to face Batista in. Batista is pissed. Why is he pissed? Because he lost a match. And it might have been by Connor, but still, <laughs> Batista is meant to be Raw's top guy. Batista, perhaps, the guy that will go on and might even beat Kurt Angle for that title. And no, no disrespect to Carlito, because he is a great athlete, but Batista is higher up. How? Oh. And, well, Carlito got that win, so Carlito perhaps says, is thinking, you know, he deserves that title shot, perhaps, with Kurt Angle in the future. But anyway... Earlier on tonight, Benoit beat Kurt Angle in a tag match. However, it was Benoit's partner that pinned Angle's partner. So I don't know if that really means he should get a title match, but we will get a contenders match in the future, and Benoit will be in that. And perhaps Batista will be in that too, if he can. Maybe Batista and Carlito both in that. Maybe, but he's not going to let it happen. 
He's going to take. He's going Polly to. Do, why, why should Polly do care if Batista gets a title shot? I don't. Yeah, know. he wants a title shot for him. That's why he's doing this rapper, I think. Yeah, but um, if the Batista beats Kurt Angle, well, I don't think that's going to bother Cardi do that much. He wants, a, he wants a title as well. Yeah, but I don't think Cardi do is any love for Kurt Angle or any other wrestler. Really that's why he wants to take the title off him first. And where is that title? God damn. Anyway, Cardi do Ow. did get that controversial win last week. And I guess that's what's important, but then it him. might have not been worth it. Look at the Batista. Look at this animal. He's gonna win it at the end, don't worry. He's gonna win it at the end. Batista. <coughs> the guy that beat Triple H in three back to back pay per views that year. The last one concluded in a Hell in a Cell match. I mean, these two also moved grounds during that time as well because Carlito was on SmackDown, Batista was on Raw. They swapped, kind of. It wasn't really them that swapped because. They're kind of in different leagues, but Cardito did go over to Raw and win the Intercontinental title, and Batista was world champion and he moved over to SmackDown. You know? Ow. I mean, they drafted it because like a monthly thing back then, kind of. A rare one? Or a good one? I think it was like a monthly thing, like, because Batista was one of the ones that came in late. Like, Cena was like one of the first drafts. I think it was like a four week thing or something, or a four week period or something. I think Cardi Do came in the third week or something because I think that's when he did settling for the Intercontinental title. And what Cardi Do is managing to hang in there. I was trying to go. For how long? I'm trying to keep my en hot energy. Hey, keep my energy! Ow. Ow. Oh, wow, wow, wow. Who teased her? He is an animal. Oh. No! I don't know how to play this game! No blood! No blood! Once again, like the other match. Awesome. I mean, funny enough, earlier on, I was playing as the heels. And funny enough, recently, in this match, in the last match, you were playing as the heels. Oh, yes. <laughs> yeah. So you are a bit. Again, I don't think that's really been my plan, really. No, I don't want to end this like this. I want the piece to do something cool. Like the piece to fall and throw the table? So, oh, yeah, something cool. It was kind of the main reason why I wanted to make it this. Give it that kind of cool atmosphere of something crazy happening that I don't know if we'll be able to make happen really. Oh. And Cardi do. I hate this little energy <laughs> thing here. Ooh, that's what it sounds like pretty much. Ooh. Oh. No, no, no. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I, knew, no, I didn't want to win like this. I tried to stop the count and I think I did. I don't think you kicked off. Yeah, because I was going to lose. Yeah, but I don't want to end like that. There's so many buttons I don't really know. Which I think I need to try out. Alright, so. Oh. Ow. I'm surprised Carlito has been able to hold his own. Carlito is usually around with some sort of bodyguard. Oh. Where is it Especially when it comes to a guy like Batista in his, you know, crosshairs. Batista, that animal, you're going to need some sort of backup to go up against him as well. Oh. Wow. This is the way. Carlito oh. might be the guy that normally has more stamina in this encounter. Carlito would be the advantage that's... in stamina when it comes to. One of the advantages he has with the taste in this, but not currently. Danny T! There's a the bulldog. Bulldoggy doggy, Danny T! Bulldog and Cardi do. Don't worry. Run away! Run away! Ah! 
don't think it really went really one way too far. Oh, it's hard to this all the time. Stop there. Here's the animal, the taster. And the animal is going down with the leash. Out. Come oh, back. Take that, you little. Little. Banana punch is not Batista all the way down. Oh, that's the thing about these games. I remember Spectre vs. Raw. Ray was still being, being able to lift the great Kelly up like he's nothing. Oh, well, you remember that? I wish they I think I think you had Ray Mysterio lift the great Kelly up like he was nothing. I, I think only oh, Spectre was like 2007. <laughs> I know, I wish they did something else with that. Like the small ones can't lift the big ones. To be fair, yeah, to be fair, I think they have their flaws given their older games, but they're still quite good. Like, I like them. I like the way the rosters back there. I, know, I, I, like, I like that too. I mean, you've got Cardi Doe in the game. You don't want Cardi, if you want Cardi Doe in other games, you usually have to download them off Committee Creations, which you have done in the past. I'm hoping this. Oh, and I guess that's the price that Cardi Doe must pay. For infuriating Batista, but what a punch for did he have a chain on his hand like that time when he beat Cena for the US title when he debuted it? Oh, I mean, it's as if he did. A puncher, but it hasn't done much to slow down Batista here. Hair pulling, hair pulling, hair pulling. Cheat, cheat. We have a cheater, referee. I think it's pinfall, I don't think it's KO or anything. Man, this is a this is a slaughter right here. A Batista. He's good. I wish you can dodge these. Bomb. I wish you can dodge these. The Batista bomb. No commentary as well. That's a thing. Well, there's commentary, but not commentary. Well, that's fit, not fair. You know how to. <laughs> but I also know know how to prevent it. Batista doesn't want it to end like this. He's saying he wants. You're to kind of square, but he wants to punish Curly to more. He wants to punish Curry to more. He doesn't want to live, get off that easy, <laughs> even though he's just him with a Batista ball. And, wait a minute, that might have backfired. It might have backfired, yeah. Oh, my wow. punch. What a clues line. Batista has been unleashed. Definitely. I wonder what GM Eric Bissop must be thinking of this. Are you kidding? Eric Bischoff loves this. This is the kind of chaos he craves for on Raw. And he would love to. He would love Raw to win in this war over SmackDown. Nothing would make him prouder than to see Teddy Long and his soul, you know, feel. That's what Eric Bischoff and I mean, we all are Raw. You know, I'm, I'm Team Raw, so obviously I'm going to back Raw. On SmackDown, I'm going to. Win the war. the war. And there's a pal driver by Batista. Stop. And Batista saying that you want me to pin you? Of course I'm not going to pin you right away. Batista wants you to punish him even more. <sighs> that guy. <laughs> you see that? You trying to fix it or something? Batista accidentally got the referee. I say accidentally because Batista would never attack a referee. Batista's nice. Batista's the guy that helped Jim Ross be Triple H. I want. I really, really. And Triple H is knowing with SmackDown, and that's why he's going to SmackDown because he wants nothing of JR. See what's going to do with JR. He's scared of all commentating JR. What? That's cheating. I didn't want it to end like that either. Damn it, I wanted to put him through something. But Batista, he gets his vengeance tonight. I thought the referee was dying. Oh, yeah. Batista. Oh, he's on the camera on TV there. Oh, well, Batista has certainly got his vengeance here tonight. Batista getting his payback. 